Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to another Bar by Bar Analysis here on my channel. Today is April 5th, 2022, and today we're looking at a 2,000 tick chart with the 21 EMA here in blue and a 200 EMA in magenta here. These are the only indicators that I use. I like to, I like that simple is better approach to the market. I don't want my market cluttered with a lot of stuff. Just going to focus on technical analysis and price action to let us know where prices are going to go, and we'll take our trades as such. So I did trade today. Uh, from 8.30 to about 9.45, I, I just traded for about an hour and 15 minutes. And to be honest, I didn't see a single good trade set up. So when I go bar by bar today, at least for that first hour and 15 minutes, I didn't see anything set up that I wanted to take. Um, I didn't end up taking any trades today. I just closed up Ninja Trader and I didn't continue trading or anything. So opening up the market again, I haven't seen any other price action. So as I go bar by bar, you're going to be getting a live reaction here of exactly what I see. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it, drawing our level of resistance here at the top at overnight highs and level of resistance here at overnight lows. Market opens at 8.30 before prices start to push. <clears throat> a little bit of an overshoot down here bef below these overnight lows. And then as we draw our short-term trend working up, pushing back above EMA, we're going to see where prices are going to go. We have a push up and then a pull back, almost to test the breakout area that we had here with this potential range that we had at play uh, before prices push back up, but really no way to enter this um, that I saw. I wasn't comfortable taking any trades. As we get a break of this short-term trend with a break in new high, we continue to make new highs, and so I draw a bigger channel at play here before prices come back. Not looking to trade counter trend. Uh, the short-term trend is still in play. We have a break of this looking for a new high. I'm interested in a <clears throat> second entry long here off EMA. And as prices come down, we don't necessarily get an entry. Prices continue to push back up, and we get a higher low way up here, far from EMA. Not interested in taking anything like that. Prices are a bit congested here above EMA not looking to go short uh, so close to the EMA here as these prices congest a little bit you can draw in a range but we had that break into that new high this uptrend most likely played out but we want to see how prices are going to react here at EMA potential second entry long that I was looking for but we never really got a close above EMA prices just fell from underneath and pushed back strongly below the EMA not really looking for any failed breakout new high here with the first entry long prices come down second entry long but no really way to enter this I would have been interested in taking a higher low back up into this range above EMA but we don't really get that until we see this candle here so prices push below EMA and then prices close above EMA we get these two stems this was the only trade if you managed to see it potentially aggressive um, going long I think at the time though I had this short-term trend in play I thought okay we have a break looking for a new low I'd be interested in the second entry short and so that's where my focus was that's an aggressive trade that you could take though just with the way these candles are stems really pushing below EMA not able to do any work um, and with 200 EMA continuously moving up 21 EMAs moving up we could have another move up to test these overnight highs for people that got into this trade you would have been in this trade as prices continue to move up definitely a scalp potentially a runner and where do prices go exactly where we think they're gonna go working its way up to overnight highs so by no surprise there we are we have a new low here with the first entry short prices come up to the EMA second entry short here um, right off overnight highs, it's aggressive taking a um, a short here just because you have this strong push above EMA and you have the short-term trend line in play. So I'm not interested in taking a short there. I think it ended up working out. And oh yeah, this was that big move. We had a big strong move below EMA. Really no way to enter this. Um, but I literally, I saw this play out before my eyes. I, th I thought I, I would go short if we have enough room to the EMA. I'll take a second entry short. I'm sorry, a lower high off off the uh, overnight highs here. So if prices just came up a little bit, gave us a lower high, I would have entered that lower high if we had room to the EMA and taken it back down. But we didn't get that. This is just one of those aggressive trades that worked out. And fortunately, if you got into this, prices pushed literally all the way to the opposite end 
of the day. So again, when we're asking ourselves where our price is going to go, we get no resistance here at 21 EMA. We get no resistance here at 200 EMA. Where's the next place we're going to get resistance is potentially at this key level that we have marked down here. So prices, let me draw on this short term trend. This doesn't feel that short term, to be honest. Prices had ticked one tick up, second entry long. Some people thinking they're going to go long here um, after such a strong move. A lot of room to the EMA, but the EMA wasn't being respected up here. It, you're not looking to take any longs. You're not trying to go counter trade. Uh, counter trend trade here prices continue to fall through before they they reach this low and then as prices pull up and make a higher low here some people could argue taking a higher low back up into this range but really am not interested in, in going long at all after this strong down move here how many points was it this moved nearly it nearly 30 you know 31 points give or take a few ticks i mean this is just wild this, this move was very big. So when I see this higher low, I'm not looking to go long. Even if we have do, even if we do have space to the EMA, just just not interested after seeing this this big down move. So I was looking for reasons to enter short. Now for some people that tried taking that higher low there, um, you would have been in that trade and immediately stopped out. I think prices would have chopped along just a little bit. You do have a slight range starting to form here as prices consolidate. Trying to find a level of support here. But yeah, just not interested in taking any trades. Prices continue to push down. And so I was looking for a reason to enter. If, if, if prices could, if the EMA could prove that it could hold prices, then I would look at going short. But really not looking at trading counter trend. I literally no trades in here at all. Prices continue to push down. Some people could argue we might have a bigger trend at play, right? We could have something more like this. I think it's a little too too early to say. I think we need more price action first. We had prices trade down into this little bit of trading range before prices trade down and out of the range. So I'm really curious to see how prices are going to react here at EMA. Not looking to take any longs, not looking to take any shorts, just with the with how far we are from EMA before prices come back up top here. And we have a new low with a first entry short. And I would be interested in taking a lower high, some sort of good signal. I see this is this was a bad signal bar i think this was one of the last trades that i potentially looked at taking if this had finished more bearish i would have entered short here but that being said it's important to note that we haven't been close to the ema since this crossover at 905 and prices come back at 923 so roughly 20 minutes prices are not testing here at the ema it's very important to notice when prices push up, we get a close above EMA. So is EMA really being respected right now? Not necessarily. Prices push back down and back up with a close above EMA and then a close at EMA, right? And yeah, maybe one tick below. But prices really aren't respecting the EMA yet. So that's definitely a sign of weakness. Not looking to take a short off this EMA if prices can't hold properly. Prices push back down below again and up with a close above EMA. Very hesitant about taking any shorts, especially after this, this down move played out. I think that was it for us. And once we have more of this price action, we can feel a little bit more confident about drawing in potential downtrend that we had at play here because we had prices working down, loss in momentum here with a break move to a new low, first entry short, second entry short that fails, but it's below EMA before prices push back up. So once we see something like this, we can start anticipating, okay, prices are probably going to be pushing back up into this trading range that we have up here, but we really just, we won't know for sure. Bias is still kind of unclear. You do have a bit of a range here pretty easy to see a little bit of a failed breakout down here and uh, at this point really looking for reasons to go long but the EMA needs to be respected so we have this new low with a first entry short and prices continue down and where do they find the bottom of this range before bouncing and coming back up to the top of this range so it's very clear we do have this range at play trying to accommodate all these all this price action. We have this new high with the first entry long. Prices come down. Second entry long, okay. Signal bar. You could trade this as a failed breakout, right? You had this short term trend working down with a break, move to a new low. First entry short, second, I'm sorry, first entry long, second entry long, failed breakout. But I don't know. We've just, 
it, prices have been pushing so bearishly. I wasn't even looking for for a long at this time, but when I look back at it now, you might take that if it triggers, but I just, I'm not even going to mark it. It's an inside bar. Prices could continue to work down, not interested in taking that, but prices do push up. You have room to the EMA, let's see, uh, 50, 25, 52, 25, so two points on the dot, but now EMA is starting to hold a little bit, and we have a new low with a first entry short and prices tick down second entry short and reverse and finish bullish. After such a strong down move like this, I wasn't interested in taking shorts, but when I saw this, I you know what, I didn't see this actually. I stopped trading right before this because it was like 9.45. So I, I think I finished trading around this time. But when I look at this now, new low, first entry short, second entry short failure, that could be an aggressive long that you take. The only thing would be you need to have enough room to the top of this range here so if it's 375 up to 525 575 is right there you could potentially take that maybe enter on a limit order it, depending on how this next bar forms you potentially are in this trade as prices continue to push up so that's an aggressive trade man if i stayed in the market i think a few more minutes i might have seen that but i just i got kind of fed up um after there was no setup that took place, I just decided not to not to trade anymore. But prices push strongly above EMA here, and all of this is is going to be new uh, information to me. I didn't see any of this develop. I haven't looked back and looked at any trades. Not looking at trading counter trend. I would be interested in going long, seeing how prices react here at EMA with a new high. First entry long, first entry long happens, prices come down. Second entry long, if you wanted to enter above this, that's a aggressive i'd argue it's because we are a little bit far we have a short-term trend working down with the break new low nearly a double bottom and it's actually a higher low by a tick off this one this could be an aggressive trade that you take if you manage to see it in the moment you have a break of this uptrend looking for a new high but you are going long both into the these overnight lows and you're going long into this 200 ema so i actually don't know if i take it I, I don't know if I take it. I'd mark it as aggressive, but I think I'd personally want prices to pull back more to the EMA. And that's, yeah, yeah. Prices tick up, trap traders in, trying to go long into this uh, resistance up here, and then they come back, tick people out. This would have been the bar. I would have been more interested in this because you have the bar actually touching the EMA. So I'm not going to confuse people with that. It is aggressive, but I just, I wouldn't have taken it. New high, first entry long, second entry long. Failure, but prices are starting to stack up a little bit. Not interested in trading anything yet before prices push strongly with the close and reverse back up to the top, closing above EMA. This could definitely be an aggressive trade you take, but you also have, you have a bit of a range here. Again, going long, you know what? I'm not gonna take that. I would be interested in a higher low. If prices can push back up and prove that, e that prices can hold EMA, I'd look at taking that. Prices suck a few traders into that before prices come back down, stop people out. So yeah, I mean, you don't want to be going long into this 200 EMA. You don't want to be going long into the support level, right, of this day that now acts as a, as a resistance. As prices chop along here, yeah, you just got to be very careful. So prices push down below EMA, and it doesn't seem to last long. It looks like we're testing a breakout area, right, if we extend this range. Prices are just testing this area. And as prices come back down, there is a new high with a first entry long, second entry long, if there's a trigger above this bar. But I'm just not looking to go long. After seeing how prices reacted up here, I'm hesitant. I need something more concrete. Prices would suck some traders in before coming back and sucking and trapping people out. Also not really looking for any shorts. I mean, I guess if you manage to see this, this trap, this first entry long, second entry long failure, you could enter down on this bar, right? If you manage to see it, but the body of the candle is kind of far from EMA. I, I wouldn't have looked at it. I wouldn't have seen that in the moment, but prices come down and you get a scalp. If you 50, 54.25 down to 51.50, so you definitely would have been out for a scalp. But prices are just continuing to chop along here with a new low first entry short and prices continue moving down. It's pretty clear to see we have this trend in play and it should be important to draw this. This trading range doesn't do us 
much good as prices continue down. Chopping up towards the EMA slowly with this new low, prices come up with a first entry short that cuts straight below EMA, marks the new low. This downtrend has played out, so we're looking for prices to push back strongly above EMA with this new low. First entry short, we also have a new high with a first entry long, second entry long above this, nearly a double bottom here right after this downtrend break new low tests that double bottom second entry long i wouldn't take it just because there's not enough room to the ema there really isn't enough room here 50.50 you need to get 50 252 points it's above ema i wouldn't take it i think it hits it it misses it by a tick here that's unfortunate for people that try going long here prices come back and and reverse stop people out so as we continue making these new lows we could have an extension of a downtrend here that's in play right it could look something like this with a bit of an overshoot that's going to generate momentum to the opposite end of the channel it's a possibility we'll have to let price action to tell us what it's doing finds a little bit of support this new low first entry short prices do they tick up above i don't know if they tick up one that's a first entry short second entry short this would be a trade I'd be interested in taking. I kind of like the signal bar just because it's a nice strong close below EMA. Prices to try pushing above EMA. This this would be one I'd, I'd consider taking. I think if I saw it in the moment. Plenty of room down to the lows. Prices are holding below EMA. Respecting this channel that's at play. I look at going short here if we get a trigger. And there's a trigger as prices push down and that would have been a scalp. So if you're patient enough, there's a nice trade. 11.14 central time. You definitely would have had to be sitting for a while waiting for just the perfect setup. You had to be eyeing it out. But that's what I'm seeing here as prices push down. Get more price action with a new high. Where's that new high? I guess the new high is here with a first entry long. Prices come down second entry long. But you're not looking to trade counter trend. Prices consolidate for a bit. New low with a first entry short second entry short right here off ema the only thing is hmm, what's the body of the candle is is a little too far from the ema for my liking that's the issue and 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 on top of that we also it's kind of hard to find but you kind of have a short-term trend still at play unless you draw a short-term trend like this very short with the break new high you i think it's it's just aggressive right you could be entering into um into the short-term trend here and you do have room to the lows but i mean this these prices come back almost make a double bottom prices are consolidating here you can all you can almost see this as a range and now you know when you draw this range in new low with the first entry short second entry short man this is it's an aggressive one but i could see it failing easily and there's that tick reverses and stops people out man that's a that's a tough one how do you stay out of this i guess just recognizing the body of the candle isn't as close to the ema as we like it to be prices continuing to overshoot just a little bit outside of this channel so as prices break this channel Channel on top and bottom that weakens this channel at play that's a hard one but yeah some people would have lost that if you try going short there and prices continue to hold this channel see that's that's the other thing is this signal bar not only should it be coming off EMA, but it would be awesome if it also came off the channel at the top here if prices had come up off the top you try shorting at the top and that would look good so you have this new low with a first entry short, second entry short that fails, traps people trying to take that trap, and then you get this lower high right here. You could potentially enter this bar, but by then it's like prices are consolidating a little bit. You do have room to the lows. This channel's technically still at play. You could enter there. Um, prices suck you in and reverse and out the other side. So let's see, 38.50 down to 37.25 so yeah that definitely would have been a loss i think you know in the moment i think i would have taken this i think I, I would have lost that unfortunately but it is what it is we continue to move on there's our first nice real true break of our trend line that's working down but after how much it's moved down and with the slight break we had off the top here and off the bottom, I wouldn't be surprised if prices just continue to move up. And we want to make sure, we want to see that EMA is going to hold prices here. And that's a wow. So prices consolidate for just a little bit, wait for that EMA to catch up, and then prices shoot up the top. 
And where are we finding resistance here at this 200 EMA? Not looking to take any shorts, not looking to take any longs just yet. I would be interested in taking a long if a second entry long sets up with the new high here and prices push strongly again below EMA. Man, what a hard day to trade. Definitely not many setups at all. Prices continue to fall. We have this new low, first entry short, and that's where we're at. That's where we finish the day. So, you know, another rough day. I, I definitely, I stopped trading early and I, I don't, 11.45, I don't know if I would have still been trading at this time, but I think that would have been a loss for me. This one was probably the only trade I saw. 11.14, I might have still been trading at this time. This was even a rough one, aggressive in a way, but those were the trades that I saw for today. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, right? Not, not every day is, is going to be the best trading day. There are days where you're going to take some losses and or not take any trades at all and that's just how it was for me this morning i didn't take a single trade and when i go back potential setups that happen but you can kind of see prices chopping along very hard to trade so that's unfortunate but uh another video that's the bar by bar analysis for for today i hope that that you guys had a had a successful day trading and you managed to get some some nice moves in the market whoever you know if you were brave enough to enter this second entry short here very aggressive to be honest i didn't even mark it but that's a very big move there if you managed to get in there with a runner and that's that that's a that's a clean move that could earn you some money that you might have missed yesterday. So, but anyway, that's it for the video. I appreciate those that are watching. If you got something out of it, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know exactly when I post these videos and feel free to sh share this with a friend, share it with a trading buddy because it never ha hurts to have that additional resource to help you out with your trading. Other than that, I appreciate all of you for watching and until tomorrow, I will see you then.